Hey guys, so this would be truck vlog six. That's my camera was being kind of a pain and not uploading properly. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat before work. Uh, grab an energy drink. I didn't get off work until two two o'clock yesterday or this morning. Two in the morning. I'm supposed to get off at 11:30. Busy night. Technical difficulties. All right. Car sliding all over the place. Let's see if I can pick up a energy drink. I know they're not good for you, but it makes life a little easier. Brr, it's chilly out. It's warmer today, though. I think it's in the teens. 15, 16, something like that. Maybe, maybe low teens. It's in the 12s. It's in the 12s. Like 12 teen. Again, I'm gonna grab some something quick and cheap. Yay, heart attack in a sack. Uh, stupid high cholesterol. This red light is taking forever. I'm leaving a few minutes early for work. This red light's taking up all my time. Ow! Oh well. Gotta roll with the punches. Roll with the punches. And of course, murder snow. Cause it's everywhere. Like most of the country. I don't know about the other countries. I, I get a few views in other countries. I'd like to know about them. And I can use Google Translate if you don't speak English. I wish I could translate my words in other languages, but I don't have enough of the brain cells communicating in the right way for that. Ooh, burger cake. A dollar. If I can find the entrance. Mountain of snow to get through. Mmm, I like burgers a lot. Ooh, bumpy. Sorry about that. Could I please get a Junior Whopper? Do you want cheese? No cheese. And, and just make it two of those. Sandwiches. Just sandwiches. Okay. Did you know back in the day, for me back in the day it would have been the early 90s, mid 90s. There you go. He used to be able to go to a Burger King and because of a po an unstated policy, if you requested a fresh, whatever, fresh burger, Fresh fish, fresh nuggets, whatever your shape of meat is. Uh, they would have to, because of their internal policy, have to cook it for you right there. Instead of having it under the heating lamp or whatever whatever standard operating procedure is. A buddy of mine in high school worked at one and he said uh, it was always a pain because a few people knew that. And you go to a Burger King like, yeah, I would like it fresh, like a fresh burger, or could you make that fresh? And they would be like, yes, we can. We can do that for you, no problem. And then it took like an extra 10 minutes to get your food, which for a fast food restaurant is a long time. That's like days in the regular world or something like that. But then you would have a, a fresh burger or fries or whatever it was, but the problem was, is the people cooking the food that were hassled by it, that were like, ah, God, for fresh, God damn it. Uh, they would possibly spit in your food or whatever. So anyways, little interesting tidbit for you. I'm gonna check the time, make sure that I'm not gonna be late because don't be late for work. Otherwise you won't have a job to be late for. Yesterday, which I know you're not going to be able to see that video, but yesterday I was talking about meteors and Fox News and things of that nature. And what I didn't talk about, which I got edited, I edited out of two videos. And just because I'm trying not to talk too much about negative stuff, but I'm going to talk about it in this video is bad drivers in Montana. I would say I haven't lived in very many states, 
my wife has lived in a few more than me, and she has commented as well as other people have commented. Montana has a high, high portion of bad drivers. Now I've heard Idaho has some bad drivers. Any Idahoans out there, you can comment below. But um, I've heard Montana drivers are up there, if not worse, than Idaho drivers, Montanian, Montuckian drivers. But I, that's just a biased opinion. I can't verify that. Right now, it hasn't been too bad, but I've seen several. If you have a small front wheel drive vehicle that doesn't weigh much, and there's a two foot or even 18 inch or one foot uh, pile of snow going down the meridian of a busy street, don't, and you want to go into a store that's not where there's an opening, don't try crossing the meridian if you're going five miles an hour. You don't have the momentum, the mass, the speed, probably not the tire. Nobody in Montana, or almost nobody in Montana, gets winter tires or all season tires. And about half or less get studded tires for winter. And the rest just, eh, I'll deal with it. And then they slide, can't get across, and everything else. Like right now, I'm at a school intersection. There's one gap to get through an area, but the city plows plowed a two foot high snow mound that's it's up past the bottom of my door easily to the middle of my door and I can almost guarantee it there's people who live on either side of the street that are going to try to back out of their driveway as fast as they can to bust through that so they can possibly get on the other side to go the other direction instead of just going the, the direction that they're on go that direction of the road go around the block you know, nobody in Montana leaves early enough to do that, or almost nobody. And I'm no exception. I just plan my route enough where I have uh, a couple alternate routes. So if I leave at my designated time, I can take two or three routes depending on the traffic conditions and get to work at, within a minute or two of the same time. Uh, or I leave early if I want to go grab a bite to eat. Although I did forget to go get an energy drink. Ugh! I'm blaming this on you. That's not fair. I'm blaming that on me. That's right. There's one more convenience store close to work. Just the lack of planning is just crazy. And the drivers that are reasonable drivers are typically because that's their job. They uh, look another car stuck trying to go down an alley, which is unplowed, front wheel drive, load the ground car. Um, yeah, they're they're professional drivers. UPS post office, uh, you know, plumbing, outfitters, even construction guys. So for they have to drive around for a living, they either have the right vehicle, the vehicle's prepared, uh, that is in a ways enough, four wheel drive, two wheel drive, studded chains, winter tires, whatever the case may be, they're prepared because it's winter in Montana and it happens every year. What? And, uh, or, they're just the exception. What I'd like to do though is buy a set of winter tires, mount them on an extra set of steel rims, just some basics from a junkyard. And then when winter comes around, I just throw those set on, I can do it myself. And when summer comes around, I throw my summer tires on. But I haven't financially been able to get myself in that position where I can afford to buy two sets of tires. I'm at the convenience store. I'm going to give me an energy drink. Alright. Alright. I just went to pick me up an energy drink and their transaction machine is down. Kind of a uh, difficult to do the seatbelt here. Anyways, kind of a crazy deal. They took a carbon copy of my debit card. When was the last time you guys had a carbon copy ran for your debit card? Crazy. Uh, I, it's been since I was a kid. Like one of my first jobs was a bag boy at a convenience store. 
it was rare that any, they didn't have debit cards back then, they just had credit cards. And it was rare that anybody used a debit card or a credit card for purchasing groceries. They're like, why would I want to pay interest on my groceries? I'd just rather write a check. Everyone paid cash or check. Oh, this is stupid. It's the intersection. Anyways, so it's just kind of, just kind of a throwback there. But they put your, your debit card in, they put the, the carbon paper over it, and ch -ch -ch, they write down the information. And then later when the system comes back up, they, they enter the process and they gotta deduct the inventory and all that stuff. Sounds like a hassle to me. So that took a little bit longer than I was expecting. Looks like there's not a lot of parking spots. This could stink. Hopefully I arrive early enough to actually eat my food. Over. And they have a bunch of parking spots blocked off for, I'm assuming, snow removal. I they were gonna do that last night. Just, they were blocked off yesterday. Apparently not. Ooh, a spot. And I should fit. Awesome. The better spot than I got the past two days. How much time I got? Eight minutes. Let's see what I jam my face in. Mmm. Room temperature. Alright, I'm gonna cut it short here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Keep the comments coming, I really appreciate it. Uh, Love to interact with you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.